Welcome fellas to a new video of TaxPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started and how to deposit your money into Binance using your credit card. It's going to be a really easy process and if you don't have an account at Binance and you're getting started, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you might have an actual great rewards just by signing up. Once you sign up, there's one thing we need to do before we get started and that is verifying your account. So yes, we need to verify our account in order for making funds to our withdraw, to deposit, and do trading and so much more inside Finance. For that, once you are signed in, what you want to do is to look out for your account. Here into your actual account, I choose this option that says account, and you make sure that you have the verification level number two of Binance in order to have access to all the features uh, totally for free. Of course, you might be needing to have to add all your basic information, adding an actual uh, image of a government ID, for example, a driver. For example, a driver's license or a passport ID, whatever. Once you make sure you have added all of those elements, you might be seeing that your account appears as verified with an actual yellow mark uh, below or right directly into your account. Once you have made successfully this process, you might be seeing that we have the actual verified section into the upper side. So then what we can do is to navigate directly into the deposit page. Now, to deposit money directly into your credit card, here what you want to do is to focus into the upper side that says Buy Crypto. Here into Buy Crypto, I choose the option that says Buy Crypto. Now here into Buy Crypto, to deposit money here, I need to select an actual credit or a debit card. This will be taking us to the deposit page where we can start the actual full process. So here it's going to be asking us to buy crypto. It's how much would you like to spend and the amount of money would you like to receive. So for example here, I choose this amount, let's say that I look out for my currency, which in this case is USD. Now here, the minimum we should be using for this amount should be $15, and the maximum we can do to buy in cryptos is $5,000. So if you choose, for example, $50, here's the amount you should be receiving in cryptos, and here it might be having USDT. If you want to receive another token, for example, let's go for VMV. This is the amount that you might be receiving when you make the process. And here what says pay with, I choose my credit card. If you don't have an actual credit card added, what you can do is to look out for view more and add a new actual section here. If you don't see the actual element of adding a credit or a debit card, then what we need to do is to add this manually. To add this manually, let's go and focus directly into your actual account once again and look out for account. This is the amount that you might be receiving when you make the process. And here where it says pay with, I choose my credit card. If you don't have an actual credit card added, what you can do is to look out for view more and add a new actual section here. If you don't see the actual element of adding a credit or a debit card, then what we need to do is to add this manually. To add this manually, let's go and focus directly into your actual account once again and look out for account. Inside here account, I look out for payment. Inside payment, what I can do is to choose the option that says buy crypto. Inside buy crypto, what you can do is to here directly add a payment method so you can use that card to making payments. In this case, here it is my actual credit card or debit card. Once you make this process, what you can do is now to go directly inside the buy crypto and buy your cryptos as I just showed you guys. Once you make the process of uh, buying here, uh, this is tough. What you can do now is to go directly into your overview and here into your overview, make sure that you have your actual balance of the money available here into your products. So here, look out for the actual load pod. Here into the load pod, what you can do is to look out for orders. Into orders, I go for transaction history, and I make sure that it appears the actual transaction I made a few minutes ago. Lastly, what you can do is to review and configure the transaction. Once you make sure your transaction appears in here and now that you have your money available, then you're actually good to go. Now, just in case that you're not able to add a credit or a debit card or you have another payment method of how you would like to buy cryptos, then you have to worry because there's another solution that I can give you. And for that, what you want to do is to look out for trade and look out for pair to pair. 
Now, the power to power is buying cryptos, not directly from Binance, but using the Binance, uh, let's say, website as an actual bridge between one advertiser and yourself. So, once again, assuming, for example, that I'm willing to buy $50 of, let's say, here, the USDT. Here's going to be appearing me all the advertisers that uh, they do have available to, of course, selling tokens and I can choose from a specific region. For example, here, I only look out for people who are into United Kingdom. And at the moment, we don't have absolutely anything. But if I choose, for example, United States, we don't have absolutely anything. Let's say that I can look out for Canada now, for example. And you can see that we have... So check out which one fits for you the best. Just make sure that this one has a verified merchant. Once you choose the actual verify merchant, it's going to be telling you the instructions for making the payment. So this guy, for example, only accepts Banesco Panama, for example. So make sure that you choose your tokens. For example, here, let's say that I want to pay with Enterbank. And I enable this, and I only have this uh, stuff available into Max websites. And then I go for buy the USDT, I just confirm with the traction, I send the actual ID, and then later on, I might be having my actual money directly into Binance. And well, guys, it's a really easy way of how you can deposit money and Binance using a credit card. So we hope this guide helped you fund your account quickly and easily, guys. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Express more cryptocurrency tutorials and tech tips. Now, if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comments below, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, we can see you next time.